welcome to you you are sir sapsd youtube channel please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the more knowledge on sapsd today we are going to discussing about integration between module to module so we will see our sd module is integrated with how many modules and what type of process will be module to module okay now if you first you can see sd to mm sd to mm these many concepts are integrated okay metal master this metal master creation is taking care by mm but from sd point of view we have some tabs is there sales are one sales are two sales general plant sales uh, text and uh, foreign trade ex export okay these five tabs is taking care by the sd we have to the required uh, the required field we have to fill based on the requirement so as well as mm you have some field uh some fields in purchasing purchasing text uh, power and dead import like that they have they have some controls so the middle is the indicate between sd and mm and pgi after delivery we are doing pgi once pgi created back end system is triggering the moment type so the standard moment type is 601 for pgi okay that moment type having okay that moment type having the functionality how uh, how stock has to reduce okay um and the stock update and inventory document okay how it is generating based on the moment type based on the moment type is generating so this moment type is creating by the mm so uh, if you want to create the delivery means uh, delivery and pgi we need to integrate with mm okay third party process third party process okay third party process once we create the order back end pr is generating how pr is generating in vivo v6 if you see here we have the document sales document category csc is there so this is the order type nb nothing but a purchase requisition order type okay so in case they want to use the client want to use the zb something is they don't want to use the standard they want something else in that case we need to contact the mm people to create the new order type okay they will create the new order type that we need to assign here okay that we need to assign here so this third party settings as to done by sd but some information required from mm so those information we have to get from mm so this third party process is integrated between sd and mm okay so once uh, pr generator we are creating po right once we creating po and uh, after that migo is creating so so as well as sd said we have to do some setup as well as mm said they have to do some setup so finally if you want to run entire process so both sd and mm both has to do process at a time i mean step by step okay ipo process same it is also same like ipo process also same so the standard is cb so same here moment uh, once order is saved back in purchase request generating purchase request that we are creating po migo mero okay the all things we have to do so as well as sd has to do some setup and mm also has to do some setup so both models has to integrated okay for this concept ipo sto process st was the same okay st was the same we have to do some process mm has to do some process and we have to do some configuration and mm has to do some configuration this all process already we explained in separate class you can go through that okay intercompany sto it is also same mm and sd integration as of now as of now maybe anything is missing you can you can put in comment box that will be help to others so as of now as for my knowledge okay this many things i remember sd and mm integration okay sd and mm integration coming to the next one sd and fi sd and fi is the metal master obviously metal master metal master unique for all the models okay unique for all the models okay accounting tab okay we are going to maintain the valuation class 7 and 20 that having that some controls like which gl has to trigger for in inventory point of view so something will be there back end okay that assignment is taking care by the fi but uh, that uh, that is mm and fi configuration okay that mm and fi configuration so metal master level sd and mm metal master okay so sd has to fill some fields and mm has to fill some fields okay and invoice after creating invoice the invoice value posting accounting right 
that accounting that accounting document need to do some setup okay they will create the document type rv okay document type rv if you see the vofa billing type okay billing type we have the document okay here we have the document type here if you keep it as blank default system will take rv if you maintain rv rv it to consider rv if you want something else you don't want to just standard you want something jv or something so you have fi people they will create their own document type that they will provide to us that we need to assign to billing document once invoice created system will trigger this document type okay based on this account document will hit okay account document it will hit and vkos settings how the value is posting to accounting based on vkoa okay vkoa this sometimes some companies mm will do uh, sorry fi will do some companies sd will do okay based on the company so this combination we need to maintain the gls the gls is created by the fi so based on the domestic uh, basic uh, basic base price we, we we need one gl discount one gl freight one gl tax one gl so this gls created by the fi based on the common requirement that combination we are going to assign the gl okay this invoice accounting part okay so tax procedure tax procedure also so sd side has to do some setup and mm uh, fi side has to do some setup for gst okay for tax procedure whatever the gst or vat or whatever is that okay so these three concepts are integrated with sd and fi okay the pp pp is the less sd point of view only transfer requirement metal master as well as transfer requirement so uh, transfer requirement it will help to pass the sale order quantity information to mrp okay so make to order so make to order process uh, the criteria will be there right the first criteria is that a strategy group mrp um, mrp group mrp type of item category the strategy okay if uh, the standard was a 20 if they don't want to use a 20 they are asking something else in z0 or zy something so we need to contact pp to maintain the strategy group in material master okay once are is created against that they will do the production so these three concepts are integrated with the sd and pp okay coming to basis basis the less okay compared to the other models interface is there in idoc cpi integration okay or if something we need to pass the data from one system to another system we need some setups from basis side and we have to do some setups from sd side and above side so we have uh, need some help from the basis to get the interface output forms once invoice created the output form we need to send to through mail okay the uh, through mail we need to send to customer so in that case we have to call sost okay so we need help from the basis to do, do uh, to do some setup for output form sent to mail okay so output form sent to customer through mail okay authorization so obviously is there any authorization required definitely we need to contact the basis team okay or else uh, particular any authorization objects um, like a status profile with their approval strategy so you want to create separate uh, authorization uh, authorization object so we have to take help from the uh, basis to create the authorization object that will create with the above so for that authorization object we are providing access that will be taking care of the basis okay above above is the main okay main integrated with the sd so obviously all modules we have only one uh, one model one technical model for all the functional models so this is a unique model for all the functional so definitely we if you need any enhancements enhancement nothing but which is not possible in standard with something we need to do customizing then we can go for enhancement any g reports uh, they uh, users don't want to use any cust uh, standard reports they want to use any uh, g reports then we need to contact above output forms that output forms uh, lo logic will provide that uh, uh, form template and uh, backend lo logic is developed by the above interface obviously interface they will create the function models to pass the data and background jobs by uh, if they don't want to uh, if they want we want to create any background job we need to put required on program that will be done by the above okay so something uh, once order is created automatic delivery has to create or else once uh, customer is customer material created automatically system has to create delivery order delivery three at a time 
in that case we need to uh, take care from the evapor we need to write one program which will help to create automatic order delivery invoice okay data upload bap uh, bd bdc record so something custom uh, customer list price list or a cmr list something must data if you want to upload we have to take help from the evapor okay these all are things integrate with the some other models nothing like cross models we can call it a cross models okay we have cs is there ps model integration will be there various model so various will come into the delivery part delivery time once delivery created the various team they will do the picking and uh, pgi okay batch determination everything they will take care various management and a cs model customer service so in the warranty through warranty we need to track that as everything uh, that is uh, taking up a cs so that is sd cs integration and ps also product systems if you if you want to do delivery from project we are going to cs01 t code not from vl01 so that is the integration between sd and ps so uh, costing is a sale order costing if you want to trigger then we have to do the sd co setups so like that each and every model having some setup these are the main these are the main so remaining we have the based on the project we have to do so these are the main models okay integration models and uh, one more thing uh, everyone asking the notes already uh, i upload the uh, class number 96 detail about the notes how how very it available how you can download you can watch that video and uh, I, i started to upload the notes for each and every video in description it is started from december 1st so today date is the uh, jan 5th so 36 days so up to 36 class notes was uploaded so don't need to ask the automatically notes will upload automatically already scheduled yeah, every day the notes will up, uh, upload it to respect to videos date wise so tomorrow 37 38 39 40 like that day by day the notes will update you can go and check the description in description level you can able to see the notes link okay you can you can watch that notes while seeing video okay once again thank you all for watching videos we have many concepts with uh, debugging i will i will upload soon and le also is there brf plus ltms advanced atp so little bit concepts will be there so whenever i have the time definitely i upload those videos okay thank you all thank you for your support thank you all bye